Mark Ray Mundy from MMAfighting.com and won championship at New Era in Tokyo, Japan with Gary Tonin, who just defeated Anthony Anglin by first round. TKO, congrats, Gary. I don't want to say it was, it was, uh, you made it look easy, but it, I mean, it did appear like it was, it was, it was a fairly complete victory uh, just a few minutes ago. Hey, uh, you know, a lot of people were asking me how this fight was going to be different from my other fights. You know, I've had a few fights now. I got a little bit of experience what was going to be different. And I, I said, like, I consider this to be a dangerous opponent. I was going to go in there and do everything that I needed to do to make sure that I came out victorious. And that's what I did this fight, which is a little different than my previous three fights. Uh, sure, the, the previous three fights, like, uh, I was relatively new and uh, inexperienced. So some of that played a role in my actions. But as well, I wanted to learn you know, what mixed martial arts was like. I wanted to test myself. I wanted to stay standing, do some exchanges. Um, this time, as soon as I had the opportunity to take my opponent down, he threw an early leg kick. Uh, I was backing him towards the fence. Uh, as soon as he threw that early leg kick and I took him down, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to this guy and I'm gonna beat him up and I'm never gonna let go. He's never getting out, okay? I'm gonna finish this fight right here, right now. The only way that he was gonna get out is if the bell rang for the round. That's the only way that I was gonna let that guy up. So. Uh, this for the first time, you guys got a taste of what I'm really capable of in the cage at this moment. Uh, in all those previous fights, you got to see a little bit of different skills, things that I was working on, some stand-up, some grapple box, some things here and there. But that was me showcasing um, everything that I've been working on to the best of my ability out there. And uh, I think it really showed. I think it was a major difference in uh, my performance between my last three fights. You said afterward in the cage uh, that uh, the fans are witnessing a, a monster coming out right now, right. and you're, you're 4-0 now. What, what did you mean by that? What I mean is, is, that, is that right now uh, I'm growing and growing as a martial artist. I said monster because one day I'm going to be you know, something that people are going to fear. Uh, right now, I think people already fear me to a degree, um, but it's only getting worse. I'm, I'm young right now. I'm inexperienced. Every fight that I take, I'm going to be getting better, drastically better, every single fight. And uh, if any of these, these guys have a prayer of beating me, they better do it as soon as possible because uh, it isn't going to be happening anytime in the future. In the future, I'm going to be unbeatable. Um, and that's what we're working towards. That's what I meant by a monster is growing, man. Um, it's only going to be a matter of time before I, I don't think anybody in the organization, uh, up a weight class, down a weight class, is going to be able to stop me. Do you know, uh, is there any name that you may want next? Do you know, do you know when you may want to get out there next? Uh, man, you know, I'm, I'm content with uh, however one championship wants to build their brand. Uh, if they want to throw, their, throw me in there with a killer next, they throw me in there with a killer. They want to throw me in just one step above what I had, which is what they've been doing is, is slowly leveling me up. Um, I think this, this opponent was a big step up, you know, compared to my previous opponents. Uh, if they want to do that again, I, I'm down for it. Uh, I, honestly, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here, happy a part of this, this martial arts revolution. Uh, that one championship is, um, and, and I'm, I plan to be here for the long haul. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, whatever they think is, is, is best you know, for me and for their promotion, I know they're looking out for both of us. So uh, I'm really excited to see what the future holds regardless. Uh, I know it's only good things because one championship's only been growing, only getting better since I got here. Speaking of one championship, you seem to like the, the skill, the, uh, the rule sets with uh, your ability to do some things on the ground that you can't do striking-wise that you, you couldn't do in the UFC. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was utilizing some knees to the head of a grounded opponent, which you would not normally be able to do uh, in the uh, UFC uh, or other mixed martial arts organizations in the Western world. Um, you know, as far as whether or not it should or shouldn't be a rule, I, I don't know. I don't know how I necessarily feel about it. I'm a grappler, so I feel as though it kind of suits me, you know, more so than uh, anybody else. So I kind of like it. Um, it's just one more weapon that I can use while my hands are tied up. I'm holding on to my opponent. Now I can throw a, a, a knee strike. You know, he was doing a really good job of holding on to my hands and making it hard for me to, uh, to get a lot of really hard strikes in. Uh, and when he did that on the feet, I was able to use my knees. Um, so it's another weapon that I was able to employ. It makes a little bit more activity. I think, especially when you're pinned up against the fence. Sometimes people get stopped when they're pinned up against the fence. You know, a guy puts a hand on the floor, they're kind of stalling. I don't think that's as easy to do when you have rules like, you know, knees to the grounded opponent. For sure. And, and I mean, this, this card was kind of billed as the debut of Demetrius Johnson, uh, of Eddie Alvarez, uh, Americans coming over from the UFC. But, you know, one already has an American na named Gary Tonin fr right. from New Jersey. And, and uh, you're, you're kind of a homegrown product for, for one at this point. I mean, as far as MMA goes, do you, do you like the idea that they are trying to expand more into the United States? Chachi was talking about possibly doing a show in the States uh, in, the, in the relatively near future, perhaps. Absolutely. Uh, the idea that I'll be able to not take a 20-hour flight to be able to <laughs> fight mixed martial arts is, is a great idea. Um, you know, honestly, though, I, I love the travel. Uh, I really enjoy, you know, visiting and, and seeing different cultures and fighting in front of new fan bases. I think at the end, at the end of the day, you know, I've done a great deal to develop, uh, 
a Western fan base, you know, and even a European fan base. I've, I've competed a lot in both of those worlds. And the, the Asian fan base is new to me. The Asian world is new to me. So honestly, I, I really enjoy, you know, competing in front of, uh, of the Asian audience. Uh, so I'm really happy doing it either way. But of course, it excites me to be able to, you know, one day fight in a place where all of my family can easily come come see me. You know, I have some family members fly out here and there, but it, we, you know, you have a fight in Madison Square Garden, you know, everybody can show up and, and that would be really exciting for me for sure. Uh, uh, but I'm really happy with what I'm doing as well. That would of course be, you know, right in your, right in your backyard if it is MSG, like Tatri said earlier in the week. What would be like an ideal rest of the year for you now? You know, you go back home to, to the States and, uh, and what, what would you, if you, if you had to lay it out perfectly, um, it's only, it's only, uh, well, it's a little bit, it's almost April now, but how would you lay it out? Yeah, so uh, for me, uh, I would like to fight as much as possible, and I always do. The only reason I took this much of a layoff, I think it's been four months since my last fight. Uh, November 8th was the last time I fought. Um, I, the only reason that that's the case is because this I, this particular card I knew was going to be huge, so I didn't want to get hurt or anything like that leading up to this. Uh, I really would prefer to fight minimum every three months, so like that's like four fights a year. So if I could squeeze three more fights into this year, that would be amazing. Um, at the bare minimum, two more fights. Um, hopefully, if I have, if I'm not ready for a title fight this year, it should be very early next year. I would hope that I'm going to be, you know, fighting for that title. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to be chasing that soon. And that's four wins in a row. I, I definitely think that it's going to start to be car hard to ignore me as a potential prospect for the uh, for that uh, featherweight title. I was going to ask you, would it be the featherweight title? Is that kind of the division that you think you're going to be sticking with for, for the time being? Yes. Uh, there are definite fights in the lightweight division that I look forward to in the in the future. But I think the first task, the most important thing before any any of that, is to prove myself in my own division, uh, win that championship at featherweight. Uh, I'm willing to go, like I said, I'm willing to go whatever direction I think best suits myself and the company, and, and that will be a joint decision for sure. Um, I think that uh, overall they, they have a pretty good idea of uh, you know how to promote events and how to promote fights and, um, you know, what's going to be exciting. Uh, I'm definitely a, an outside-the-box kind of thinker. It, the title is very important to me, for sure. I think that's a, land, that's a, a, a big uh, mile marker. But at the same time, I do recognize that there are other fights out there that could be very exciting and just as important, if not more important, than potentially uh, a world title. So uh, I'm down for whatever. When's one bringing your boy Gordon Ryan over to Asia to fight? So Gordon Ryan just got hurt recently with a LCL injury. Uh, for the first time I've ever heard of, the surgery actually predicts that his knee will come back stronger because uh, it's a type, it's a new type of graft or something like that, where the uh, whatever whatever the attachment is is stronger than the actual original ligament supposedly. Um, so I don't really understand how that works. I'm not a doctor. But supposedly he should be back even more healthy than he was previously. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to spar or anything in the last few months. Um, but he uh, he will be back to training mixed martial arts as soon as he's able, I'm sure. And then I think we can probably look forward to a Gordon Ryan debut. Um, I would say n not this year. It would definitely be sometime next year. Thanks, Gary. Congratulations, man. Thank you.